welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, I will be showing you the best fixes for Call of Duty Warzone or Modern Warfare in May. The fixes in this video will hopefully resolve any dev errors you're having, direct X errors you're having with Call of Duty, or just general crashes or stuttering problems in game. This is for Windows PC Call of Duty. These methods won't work for console players, unfortunately. Before we get started, I do always recommend you just create a system restore point and just back up any important files you have on your computer, just in case anything was to go wrong, but nothing should go wrong in this video. And to start off with, the first thing we're going to do is disable the built-in game bar in Windows 10. Game bar can cause lots of different problems in any games when you're playing on PC, and turning off game bar will hopefully fix your problem in Call of Duty. And if you're having stuttering problems in game, then this will also help. To turn off the game bar, all we need to do is go down to the bottom left-hand corner of our screen and open up the start menu. And you now need to click on the settings cog. We now need to click on gaming. And you now need to click on game bar on the left hand side. And we now need to just turn this off. The next thing that's worth giving a try as well is just turning off the game mode. All you need to do is click on game mode and just turn this off as well. Once you have done this, go ahead and boot up Call of Duty and see if that has fixed any of the issues you are having. The next thing we are going to be taking a look at is connection error problems people are having. The first thing we need to do is log off Battle.net. You need to just sign out of Battle.net and log off Call of Duty. And you now need to go down to the bottom right hand corner of your screen. You now need to right click on the network icon. We now need to click on open network and internet settings. We now need to click on change adapter options. And you now need to just right click on your network adapter and go disable. Once you have disabled your network adapter, you now need to turn off your router. And once it has been turned off, you now need to turn it back on. Just basically we're giving our router a restart. Once it's turned back on, you can now enable your network adapter again and press enable. And once everything is enabled and you are connected to the internet, then you can go ahead and boot up Call of Duty again and see if this has resolved any problems you're having. If this hasn't worked, then the next thing you need to try is disabling your firewall or any antivirus you have installed on your Windows PC. And if you are using a VPN, then go ahead and disable that as well. And boot up the game and see if the game works now. If this still hasn't fixed your problems, then the next thing we can do is simply go down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and type in CMD and open up command prompt. You need to run this as a administrator and you now need to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and press enter. Once that has been successful, you can now go ahead and launch Call of Duty again and see if that has fixed your issue. The next thing we're going to be taking a look at is DirectX errors that a lot of you are having problems with. The first thing you need to do is update any graphics card drivers for your PC. And if you have updated the graphics card drivers recently and then you started getting errors, then roll back to the older version graphics card drivers as it may be a issue with the latest graphics card driver. If that hasn't fixed your problem, then the next thing to do is turn off RTX and also turn off any programs that run in the background when you're playing Call of Duty and give you a overlay. Like Fraps or MSI Afterburner or the Infidia overlay, as these can cause a lot of DirectX problems and graphics problems making the game crash. Once you have turned off MSI Afterburner or Fraps or whatever overlay you're using, it could be a TeamSpeak overlay, it could be anything, just disable it all, turn it off, and if you're not getting the problems, then it was the overlays that are causing the issue. 
or it could have been your graphics card drivers. Once you have tested all that, and if you're still having problems, then the next thing we want to do is just simply go to our desktop and right click and click on display settings. We now need to scroll down and you now need to click on graphics settings and you now need to click on classic app and then click browse. You now need to find the location of your Call of Duty install. I've added a shortcut to my desktop. If you don't know where you've installed the game to, then all you need to do is go to your start menu and just search Call of Duty. And then just go right click, open file location, and then right click again, open file location, and that's where it's installed. It's the Modern Warfare application we want, not the launcher. And we now need to just double click on that.exe and go add. And as you can see, it's now added Call of Duty Modern Warfare to this graphics performance preference list. You now need to click on options and you now need to select high performance and press save. And just make sure high performance is your GPU. I've got a GTX 960, which means I'm selecting the correct graphics card. Basically, we're telling the game to use the graphics card we want it to use. If you have two graphics cards in your computer or a onboard graphics card, then Windows could be selecting the wrong graphics card and we just want to rule that out. You can go ahead and press save and now launch the game and see if that has fixed the problem you're having. And unfortunately, there is only one other thing that we can try now and that is going to your documents folder. And once you're in your documents folder, you will see a Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder. You now need to open up this folder and you now need to right click and go new and create a new folder. We're just going to call this back up and press enter. You now need to right click on players and go cut. And we're now just going to paste that into the backup folder. And you now need to launch Call of Duty again and see if that has fixed the problems that you are having. And with a bit of luck, that will resolve any problems you're having. If you do want to restore the old folder, then all you need to do is delete the one that it's just created, the players, and then just simply right click, go cut, and then just paste it back. And that is it for this video. If you have found a way that fixes problems that you're having on Call of Duty that I did not mention in this video, then please comment below or head on over to my forum at computersluggish.com where I do have a massive list of lots of other fixes you can try that may help fix your problems as well. But like I said, all the fixes that I've mentioned in this video are the best fixes that I recommend you give a try in May. And that's it. Hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.